Gurevamayadrishtam. I just now I saw it. It was here. One minute. Next moment. It is not there. <gasps> Miss India was with me. And she was trying to express her love. I have already expressed my love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Adhunaiva. <laughs> just this moment it was here. Adhunaiva maya adrishtam. Nasty kim. Is it not there? <laughs> it was there and I was feeling that, no, this is too heavy. <laughs> How to decently tell her to sit next to me? You know that? <laughs> Adhunaiva, just now, it was here. And actually, nasty kim. Is it not there? The world of plurality, which I was so familiar, running after it, sweating and toiling for it, hi, hi, spreading my friends, I mean, feathers, all the glories that I have done in life and all that. Where is gone? Nasty Kim, it is not there. Mahadadbhudam. All that you can say is, it is wonder of wonders. Why? Till now it was there. So real. And I have been fully engaged in it. And so fully engaged that I said that I have no time to wait here till the Hanuman. Because, hey, the world, the world will collapse if I don't go. What are you talking? You don't know me. <laughs> If you are not there for 10 days and the world will collapse, is it worthwhile remaining there? On the 11th, you go there and rebuild it. What is the hurry? If your finances and your business cannot wait for 10 days, is it worthwhile such a slavery? Huh? But this is how we, we take it so seriously. Eh? Then we have no time. So he says, Nasty Kim, it's not there. All that he can say is wonder. Wonder is when you cannot conceive a thing by the intellect. Ordinarily, we experience in the world outside, the world of objects. And at every experience, form or color or shape or sound or smell or taste, whatever that we experience, a running commentary is given by the intellect explaining to me what it is from, with reference to your previous experiences. If a wild buffalo is running towards you, I thought that is my wife's sister coming. You know? Something wrong with the intellect, isn't it? The intellect, the reference to a previous experience, has said that move, because the fellow is coming like a local Punjabi taxi. <laughs> Run for your safety, isn't it? The intellect tells me what it is, who it is, who is that? Oh, he is so and so, ah, ah, my friendly. And suddenly I realize it is not so. <clears throat> Enemy number one. I used to, my responses are all ordered by the intellect by explaining to me what it is. Now here is a experience <coughs> that I am got. And I am asking my intellect, hey, what is that? What is that? How? How did it happen? When did it happen? Where did it happen? Who made it? What do you a hundred questions I ask? Intellect has no answer to give. Silence. Something like what you write to the government. No reply ever comes. Ashchen. What? See, government also is surprised that you don't know fools when you write, we will never reply. Wonder of wonder. Does wonder is only the intellect is stultified, 
The intellect has no answer to give. Why? Because the intellect is not there. You have transcended the intellect. That state is only be experienced, I mean, explained in terms of wonderment, which is a common experience of everybody. 